Thermoionic emission, also referred to as the Richardson effect or Edison effect, describes the notion of electron emission by heated bodies. The fact that the air closed to heated solids loses its regular property of poor electric conductivity was known even before 1750. However, the cause of this notion remained unclear until the 1980s. In a number of experiments conducted in 1882, to 1889, Elster and Geitel established that under decreased ambient air pressure, the white hot metal surface acquires a positive charge. In his patent application in 1883, Edison pointed out similar observations. He placed an electrode into one of his early filament lamps and detected that a charge is carried over between the metal filament and the electrode. This notion, often referred to as the Edison effect, served as a basis for the British patent of John Fleming the device converting alternating current to direct current, the first vacuum tube, which paved the way to the center of electronics. The concentration of free electrons in metals is rather high, which is why, as a result of electron distribution by speed energy, even under the mid-scale temperatures, some electrons possess the energy sufficient to overcome the potential barrier at the metal's edge. As the temperature increases, the number of electrons with kinetic thermal motion energy exceeding the so-called work function increases, and the thermal ionic emission no notion becomes more evident. We can study the thermal ionic emission pattern using a simple double electrode tube, a vacuum diode represented by an exhaust tube with two electrodes, cathode C and anode A. In the simplest case, a filament made of the refractory metal, say tungsten, heated by current, can serve as a cathode. The anode is normally represented by a metal cylinder around the cathode. If we connect the diode to the circuit, then as the cathode heats up and the anode is exposed to the positive voltage with respect to the cathode, the anode circuit of the diode will start generating current. If we switch the battery's polarity, the current will stop, no matter how hard we would heat the cathode. Cathode. In 1890, J. Thompson proved that this notion associated with emission of electrons negatively charged particles. The thermal ionic emission serves as a basis for operation of electron tubes, cathode ray tubes, and other devices containing electron guns. Besides, thermal ionic emission is indispensable in devices that require generation of electron flow in vacuum, X ray tubes, electronic microscopes, etc.